alligators. I need you guys to wish me luck today because it's the annual science fair at Sunnyside School. to the drawing board. Oh, man. It looks like Alpha Lexa put a lot of work into that volcano, too. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Sunnyside School's annual science fair. We will start soon. Thank you all for being here, and good luck to all the contestants. Oh, my gummies. This is it. Today's the day. I can do this. Give me that yummy gummy. I'm Gus the Gummy Gator. I hope my presentation will be enough to win. It's time, everyone. We are ready for each contestant to present their project. You will each get a score out of 10, and it will appear here on screen. The winner will be the one with the highest score. To kick us off, we'll start with last year's winner, Peck the Penguin. OK, everybody. Get ready to feast your eyes on something out of this world. This is my handmade replica of Curiosity, the rover that is still investigating planet Mars. It is a good looking project. This project was built to do everything the Curiosity rover on Mars can do. It rolls around, collects samples, analyzes objects, explores the area, uses its arm to move things, and it even has the same camera features as the Curiosity rover does on Mars. Stop by my booth for a selfie. Say popsicles. Rats. It also has a working camera. That is going to be a difficult project to beat. Very nice. The score is coming in for Peck's Curiosity rover replica. And we have a... Nine out of ten! Wow! We're starting strong with our first contestant. Oh boy! Nine out of ten! That's almost perfect! Nine out of ten? How am I going to beat that? We'll go to our next contestant, Combo Panda. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you the Coke and Mento Science Experiment! Combo Bunga! Um, isn't that the same project you did last year? Um, no. That was Pepsi and Mentos. So, you know, <laughs> it's completely different. Mm-hmm, sure. Well, your score is being finalized, and you got a 4 out of 10. Oh, man. I knew I should have stuck to gaming. It seems we had a contestant drop out of the science fair, so we have one contestant left. Gus, we're excited to see your project on... monitors? <laughs> no, the monitor is just here to show my presentation. I have it all here on this flash drive. Imagine if suddenly the Earth stopped spinning. Whoa! Hey, who stopped me from doing my job? <laughs> Sorry, Miss Earth. I'm doing a science project. I'll put you back to normal in a second. Oh, 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 well, I'm honored. Go on, sweetie. I live for science. Thanks. <laughs> As I was saying, if the world suddenly stopped spinning, it would affect everything. Yes, I do have an important job. Even though we don't feel it, the Earth rotates at a speed over 1,000 miles per hour. And if the Earth suddenly stopped, the atmosphere would still keep spinning. He's right, you know. This means everything that isn't part of Earth's solid crust would go flying into the air. Cars, trees, buildings, animals, even us. Another problem we would have if the Earth stopped spinning is we would have six months of only daytime and six months of nighttime. This means we wouldn't have seasons like fall, spring, summer, and winter anymore either. But our major problems don't stop there. All of the water on the planet would be affected too. 
all of the water on Earth would move to the poles because that's where gravity would fall. So everything close to the North and South Poles would be underwater. So the world spinning around and round every day keeps life on Earth safe. That's right. So can I get back to spinning again? It is a very important job. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Well, I, I just thought. Oh. <laughs> you guys liked it? We are all speechless. That was a very well-researched project. Let's see your score. You got a 10 out of 10, Bess. It looks like we have this year's winner. Congratulations, Bess. As last year's champion, I am so proud to deliver your trophy, Gus. Even I didn't think to make such a grand hypothesis. Thanks, Peck. That means so much coming from you. <laughs> Thanks for watching, little gators. I'll see you next time.